Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Jimmy Pemberton, and today I'm here to talk to you about using protection for your ears. What I have here is the Vader earplug pack, and basically what this comes with is you got your two earplugs with the green filters already inserted. We have our red filters. We have our earplug carrying case. And my personal favorite, the cool strang. That's right, folks, not the cool string, the cool strang. We'll get to this later. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to properly insert your earplugs. What I want you to do is I want you to pick up the earplug and put it in the hand of the ear that you're gonna put it in. So, right hand, right ear. Then you're gonna take your left hand, just gonna tug just a little bit on your ear, open up that ear canal. So, you shouldn't be pulling too hard uh, by any means when doing this. You don't wanna pull so hard that you turn into, you know, Dumbo status. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the ear plug, holding it right by, basically by the back end, the fat end of the filter. Just insert nice and gently. Get it in there, give it a little twist if it needs it. Cool, so now I can feel that I'm good and I'm in. So I'm gonna release my top hand and help just create a nice little air seal over that ear plug. Cool, so same thing with the next one. Left ear, left hand. I'm gonna take my right hand, just give it a little tug. Insert the ear plug. Give it a little spin. Cool. Drop the right hand, creates a nice little seal. So now I'm good. I can feel that my ears are protected. You'll be able to tell too when that air seal happens, you can just sort of feel it. So now that I have my earplugs in, the next thing I would go and do is some playing. So I go, you know, want to test out, make sure these puppies are working. So let's say I just finished some playing. Now I'm going to take these, these earplugs out. So process all, almost the same. Going to take my left hand to my right ear. Just lift again, and right when I lift, I can almost feel that air seal break. So that's going to open up the canal there, and just give a little twist as you come out. Same with the next side. Right hand, pulling on the left ear just a little bit. Small twist as it come out. Boom. Beautiful. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the filters. So like I said, it comes with red filters and green filters. So we're going to take out these green filters first where we're gonna grab the fat part of the filter and just hold onto the earplug nice and snug. Boom, take our filters out. So, I'm taking out the green filters. Now, each filter has a different noise reduction rating. So, basically it just is gonna tell you how much it lowers the volume that is coming in. So the green ones have a noise reduction rating of 19.2 decibels. So now that those are out, we're going to put in our red filters. Now our red filters lower the volume even a little bit more. They have a noise reduction rating of 21 decibels. So the really nice thing about these earplugs and these filters is that it takes everything that you're already hearing and it just lowers the volume. So you're not missing out on anything. It's not like where I'm sure some of you have used those foam earplugs where you have to crinkle them all up and kind of get them in your ear that make everything sound muffled and all you hear is the low end. This is a much different experience from that. You hear everything that you would hear, just a little quieter, and it's protecting your ears. So now we're gonna insert the filter. So you're gonna hold it by the, the fat back end of the filter Hold that earplug nice and snug, and then just insert the skinny part of the filter into the earplug. Boom. So now that I have these filters in, I'm going to go do some playing and see how I like these compared to my green filters. So again, these ones will just lower the volume a little bit more than the green filters, and so you just got to decide what's best for you. And sometimes, depending on where you're wearing your earplugs, that's going to change what filter's right for you. You could be at a concert, and you could need, let's say, the red filters, but then you could be doing a gig, and you could like the green filters better for that. So it really depends, and it really helps to keep both with you at all times in case you need to make that change. Um, one of the great things that comes with this earplug pack is this guy right here, your, your earplug carrying case. It also has a nice thing to keep on your keychain. That way you can have it on you at all times. So let's say you're at the gig and you have the green filters in. 
but it's still too loud, just change out the red filters. It takes nothing shorter than a second, and then you're good to go and you're keeping your ears healthy. The next thing I want to talk about <laughs> is the cool strang. So, again, it's the cool strang, not string. I'll explain that in a minute. So what I'm going to explain to you is how to properly put your earplugs into the cool strang so you can use it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take a filter first. So you take the filter and you're going to take the nice the fat side. So this is almost the opposite of the way you'd insert it to your earplug. You're going backwards. So you're going to take the fat part of the filter and we're going to insert it into the cool strang like so. We're going to do the same on both sides. So again, fat part of the filter, bam, into the cool strang. Easy as pie. Man, do I love pie. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the earplug and we're going to put it onto the cool string as well. So, what you're going to do, it's really the same as putting the filter into the earplug. Same idea. So you're going to hold by the fat part of the filter that's into the cool strang and you're going to insert the skinny part of the filter into the earplug. Boom, like so. And again, you can use, or I should say, you can use either filter with the cool strang. It's cool with both. So, once you're good to go, it'll look like this, where you have the earplugs attached to the strang. And the next step is just, you're going to put it around your neck, and then you're going to insert it. Just like I showed you before, same idea, lifting the ear, opening the canal, you know the deal. All right? So then once you're done, so let's say, boom, you're finished. Here's the coolest part of the cool string. Boom, hands free. <claps> Gotta love it when it's hands free. So once you have that, again, you finish playing, you finish your set. Oh, you're good. They're there. You're hanging out. It's totally cool. Or let's say you're at a show and then the band gets done. You're good. Band starts up. They're right here. So you don't have to go reaching into your pocket or I should say onto your keychain, wherever you're keeping your earplug case to get them. You can have them around for as long as you need them and then put them back in the case at the end of the night or at the end of the lesson or at the end of the practice session, whatever it is. So why do we call it the cool strang? Because when you have it on, people know you're cool. You're protecting your ears, it's a huge deal. I always recommend in your nice little earplug carrying case, keep a breath mint. Because you never know when that special someone's going to see you in your cool string and want to chat. So, and the beauty of all that is if you're protecting your ears, you can hear what they're saying. Not always cool if you're getting rejected, but let's be honest. You're wearing the cool string. You're not getting rejected. It's cool. So. Now what we're going to talk about is how to keep these puppies clean because we don't want dirty grungy earplugs in our dirty grungy ears. So hopefully you're already cleaning your ears. I recommend that. Now we're going to talk about how to properly clean our earplugs and keep them sweet. So first thing I'm going to mention is this. Chemicals. No. We don't want to use any chemicals when cleaning our earplugs. You're putting these inside of you. So you don't want any of that unnatural stuff going inside. So no Windex, no cleaners, none of that. Soap and water, all right. One thing you can do is, you know, to get it really a nice deep clean is you can take these little suction cup thingies, turn it into a miniature plunger, if you will. Look at that. If you had a miniature toilet, this would be perfect. But I don't recommend that. Keeping them clean, folks. Soap and water. Also, same with your carrying case. You don't want any gunk to get in there, or if you've had a breath mint in there for too long, you want to clean it. You know, again, just soap and water, and you'll be good to go. So, some of the main reasons we use earplugs, I should say the, the biggest reason, is to prevent hearing loss, which I know, oh, I'm never going to get hearing loss, but, you know, yeah, you will. That's the, the end result, sadly. So. You really want to be protecting your ears all the time. Um, with all my students, I preach all day and I pretty much 
make sure that earplugs is part of what we're doing in the lesson room already because it gets, it gets pretty loud. So no matter what you're doing, if you're playing in a band rehearsing, if you're, just, if you're doing gigs, if you're just doing drum lessons, wear earplugs, wear ear protection. It's really, really important. Uh, if you're going to a show, if you're going to a place where there's a DJ, any place where it can get pretty loud, you want to you wanna be protecting your ears. You put all those things together and you're not protecting your ears, you can end up getting what's called tinnitus. Um, I guess the best comparison I can make to having tinnitus would be if you're trying to go to bed and there's that mosquito in your room. You know what I'm talking about. Not cool. So imagine having that for your whole life. So that's why we protect our ears, to avoid that. And also, we're musicians. We're trying to hear. We're trying to play. And that's how we communicate. A fair way of putting it is it's like going to a movie. And if you could only see half the screen. So imagine only having half of your hearing. It kind of makes the music experience a little less. And why do that to yourself, right? So definitely make this part of the practice. And with your cool strang and carrying case, you can have them with you at all times and, and be cool and protecting your ears. Thanks again for checking out Vader. If anyone has any more questions at all, feel free to contact me at jimmypemberton.com or you can also friend request me on Facebook. Look forward to seeing all you out there with your cool strangs.